This woman has no idea what kind of first impression she makes. She's about to find out. In style by jury. Debbie Cato thinks she's here to audition for a makeover show. What we haven't told her is that she's already been chosen. The show has begun. And of course, you all know our secret. This is a two-way mirror. Behind it is a jury of nine strangers that she won't be able to see until we turn on the lights. Jury, are you ready? Ready. Let's bring her in. Hi. Hi. Wow. Wow. <laughs> she looks very frumpy. She looks like she just picked her clothes up off the floor. She doesn't care about herself. Debbie, you were told you were coming in here today for an audition. Debbie, this is not an audition. Oh. Debbie, take a look at that mirror right there. Debbie, those people back there behind that two-way mirror, that's our jury. And they've been back there this whole time. Okay. We've asked them to tell us what kind of first impression you make. Do you want to find out? I don't know. <laughs> sure. Okay, here it is. Uh, she looks like she's just throwing on anything to wear. She doesn't care. There's just some kind of perpetual sadness that just comes over her. It doesn't seem like she's got any self-worth. It's like the world is weighing on her shoulders. And it's not just about the outer appearance. It's about her attitude towards life and towards things that she needs to improve upon. Debbie, you need a helping hand, don't you? By the sounds of it, yes. Guess what? What? You're getting the makeover. No way. Get up and give me a hug. Debbie, welcome to Style by Jury. To add to Debbie's newfound clarity would be 2020 vision, courtesy of the Bachner Eye Institute. Debbie, we've uh, examined your eyes, we've reviewed a variety of tests, and I've got good news for you. I can get it done? You're a good candidate for laser eye surgery. Oh, awesome. And you know what this means, and it's gonna sound really silly? I can actually now pluck my eyebrows and put on makeup. Well, I'm looking forward to putting a smile on your face. I think you just did. You're looking forward to getting started? Absolutely. Yesterday, a week ago, a year ago. I'm ready. We're going to do it today. <laughs> awesome. Doing really well. Hold it right there. That's perfect. Debbie's main focus in life is up close. So what we try to accomplish is giving her a big improvement in her near vision so that she could see the computer, she could read, she could see price tags, but not interfere too much with her distance vision. I'm gonna get you to look at the clock and okay. uh, tell me if you can see anything. I can see the clock and it's 20 after seven-ish. Yeah, congratulations. Awesome. Debbie seemed very pleased with the outcome that she was able to read the clock and she, I think, was very excited about her new vision. No more glasses, and I think that's just awesome. I can hardly wait. I can just hardly wait till I can put on makeup or whatever. I'm a much happier person now than I was a week or so ago. I feel good. Debbie, you've been here before, so you know right now that we have a jury behind the two-way mirror, am I right? Yes. Are you ready to find out what kind of first impression you make today? Absolutely. Okay, here it is. She has a beautiful smile. Her eyes are lighting up and she looks like she's very confident. She seems really approachable and warm and fun. She looks very trendy. She could be working anywhere. High level management, banking, something like where she's in the public eye. <laughs> definitely somebody that you'd want as an asset in your company. Oh, she's definitely attractive. She loses confidence and that even makes her more attractive. It looks like she's a really strong woman. <laughs> When Debbie came in seven days ago, the jury thought she looked sadly negative. We ditched her depressing clothes for a stylish, uplifting wardrobe. Her smile was transformed with a gum lift and 16 Pro Art veneers. LASIK eye surgery and laser hair removal revealed her pretty face. Her lackluster hair was given renewed sex appeal. And no longer Debbie Downer, it's all uphill as she looks forward to a positive future.